Hey guys, today we have amazing MA session with the Lysium guys. Welcome on the feed channel. And here is Geekfy and Yanning Mason. And we're just going going throughout the Delizium ecosystem. And let me remind you guys that we are broadcasting throughout different uh, live platforms. So it's YouTube, uh, Binance Live, and uh, Orbi Live, and many, many other different stuff here. So a lot of audience are just watching to you, Yannick. So hello, hello, hello. And... Uh, um, introduce yourself and make short introduction in the project and then we will uh, run uh, step by step for all of these peculiarities and amazing stuff I believe today. <laughs> sure, thank you very much Geekfy. So hey guys, welcome to our AMA <laughs> session today. My name is Yannick Meissen, I'm the brand lead at Delicium. Uh, we have been building AI in Web3 and GameFi for a very long time right now. We just launched our AI powered open world framework, which consists of Delicium AI and decentralized publishing. Uh, we have our own AAA blockchain game, which is well on the way of development right now. Uh, just uh, past the pre alpha test, we have about 300,000 community members, 200,000 pre registered players. Uh, we just launched a couple of AI products and we are well on the way of building more functionality into those products as well. We will talk about that today. Uh, one of those products is Lucy. Lucy is a, kind of like a smart wallet slash Web3 operating system. And uh, we just saw Blue, Lucy blow up. We had like 1.4 yeah, million wallets connected, unique wallet addresses connected, and people are just going crazy. So I'm super happy to be here today and I'm excited to share with you all the details. Okay, sounds really exciting. And you know, guys, uh, when we we're just first we we're exploring the ecosystem, we had a stream about the ecosystem and I've just personally chat with Lucy live. So it was very funny. Um, and I want to trick her in some way, so but she was like a stone and <laughs> like friendly stone, so she she hadn't provided me any any secrets. By the way, uh, so I believe Yannick will uh, will provide us some. So let us begin yes, with sure. the yeah ecosystem. So uh, first of all, of course, I'm very excited and uh, the community over over hyped about the AI stuff. And um, can you tell a bit more, uh, please, about the, um, uh, you know, uh, the AI stuff here and how it's implemented and uh, how it's used actually in the ecosystem? So uh, would, yeah. would be very nice here. Yeah, sure. I think we came from like very humble beginnings. Like initially we were building out our AAA blockchain game and we were focusing on making that a very robust experience for our users and for our players, obviously. But the backbone of this um, AAA blockchain game, which is now called the Lysium Center City, um, it's always been artificial intelligence. And we have a long history in artificial intelligence. Actually, um, uh, our team um, had an exit also in AI uh, previously, and we have a lot of talent, super talent here inside our team, X NVIDIA. And it's just that we are so not only excited, but inspired by the ability of artificial intelligence and what kind of difference it can make inside this world. We decided to double down on it. And Adding on to that, we realized that actually the technology that we have been developing for ourselves is also very applicable and also very useful for our partners and other different ecosystems, which would potentially want to build on top of our ecosystem. So what we did is two things. First of all, we launched a protocol, which is a decentralized publishing protocol. On top of this decentralized publishing protocol, we have already built the Lysium Center City and the DMO and the DMA structure. And then besides that, we just launched another division, which is called the Lysium AI. And the Lysium AI is a platform on which we will establish different applications. So as you can see here on my screen, uh, AI Twins is one of our upcoming applications. And then Lucy version one. Um, Lucy version one is right now on the development. It's almost finished. Um, it's also one of these applications that is going to build, be built on top of the Lysium AI. So the Lysium AI is, is, is kind of like powering, you know, our virtual world and our different virtual experiences like the Lysium center city, but it's also an integral part of the development of other types of virtual, you know, 
experiences. This can be different games, which are going to be built on top of our decentralized publishing protocol, but these can also be other AI applications. So we're really trying to create a foundational, you know, framework or platform um, to keep on building AI in Web3. And I think this is kind of like a new kind of like adventure and a new step in artificial intelligence because it's it's been all about, you know, like generative, um, you know, kind of like image generation and now it's 3D modeling. But uh, in Web3, there hasn't been a lot of action yet. So that's what we're trying to change and that's why we're here today. Mm, so uh, will it be... So like these apps, so can we call it dApps or AA apps? So uh, what uh, they will just be based on, yeah? So is it just some, you know, well-known blockchain like uh, BSC or Polygon or something, or it's uh, your own, you know, uh, network, uh, how it will be just acting throughout the uh, blockchain perspective, I mean, the ecosystem, yeah, te technical. Yeah, sure. Right now, if we look at, for example, um, Lucy, then Lucy is operated using your own wallet right now. So we're saying, okay, you can connect your MetaMask wallet and Lucy will help you operate on whatever chain that you want to operate on, right? So if you want to send Ethereum or if you want to swap something on PancakeSwap or, or, or any other platform that's integrated through API or through smart contract with Lucy, that's possible. So... That's why I'm saying we're really trying to make it a foundational thing. So that means that it's accessible to everybody and accessible to all platforms and serves a purpose for the general Web3 audience. And, you know, like from a perspective where you can think of it as some kind of like a, a tool to make your life much more easier when you operate on, on Web3. So for a lot of people, probably, especially new users coming to Web3, it's very, you know, daunting. It's a very, you know kind of hard to get used to all of the ins and outs that were in the web three space you need to be careful you know you have things like like slippage and 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 and, and different types of costs and different types of of parameters and different types of jargon and different types of uh cultural kind of things that you need to be aware of and lucy is just a really great tool to help you get through that process so you can talk to her, she can help you transfer assets, she can help you swap assets. So very soon the version one can help you actually trade uh, and do so much more. So yeah, I think to answer your question is we're trying to make our, our AI solutions as, as interoperable as possible. Okay, sounds, sounds very nice. And uh, you know, you've mentioned that you can just operate with Lucy like the assistant to your crypto transactions and other stuff. So um, we have before some some of the questions about the security of this one. And maybe you can just uh, describe in simple words what the Lucy does uh, when you just provide her a comment. For example, I want to send my one Ethereum to Vitalik Buterin, for example, account. Or, for example, I want to um you know um provide some uh, matics to my friend deeps for example yeah who is sitting on the stream so uh how actually it's working so is it safe uh for crypto users um to to use the ai stuff so and connect you know wallet to the uh, ai assistant here yeah sure i just pull up the video to to give a, a better showcase of what's happening so, you know, like initially you can just chat to Lucy. It's basically a, a agent, right? It's like auto GPT. You can chat with her. She can explain to you different types of NFTs. What are NFTs? Uh, just like some knowledge based things. And then you can actually check addresses. So you can ask, for example, what the NFTs does Vitalik.eat own? And she will do this on-chain analysis for you and she will put everything in a nice display. Um, can you can do it with fungible tokens or non-fungible tokens and then you can actually indeed swap or you can actually indeed send assets right so what it basically does is basically a workflow it's an automation you say i want to send this amount of uh ethereum to vitalik.eat so what she does is she sets it up in your wallet through an api so it's it's the same process as you would actually manually get the address, put the address in, select the amount, select the chain, etc. So you can just give it a give her a prompt, give Lucy a prompt, and then 
um, uh, she will set it up for you inside your wallet. That's how it works right now. In version one, there will be some uh, upgrades, of course, but it's very, you know, like non-intrusive because she's not taking control of your wallet at all. She's just saying, okay, here's what you told me to do. Send one Ethereum to this address and then she'll set it up for you. There's no opportunity for her to actually um, execute these this contract without your consent. You need to authorize this content. So it's very safe, right? Like there's no way that Lucy can autonomously just uh, authorize this because that's not a function, that's not a possibility. So it's relatively safe. And, and I do indeed care very much about the safety concerns that our users have. So we are actually working on other types of solutions to make sure that um, there is no complications and no conflicts in the future. So we're very much looking into like things like ZK. Uh, we're looking at what we're doing with the data. How are we going to protect the data? How are we going to make sure that the data is not accessible? How are we going to make sure that everything stays decentralized? These are all very uh, imminent questions. And these are the questions that we are asking ourselves. You know, we have 1.4 million users, but how are we going to make sure that these users are actually going to be protected by us? Because that's our up and foremost uh, objective is to make sure that nothing can go wrong. And I think that we have a lot of good advisors, we have a lot of good engineers, and we have a lot of good feedback from the community and from our builder communities um, to actually very efficiently tackle these types of problems through technology like CK, for example. So, yeah. yeah. And um, as far as, so many guys haven't tested it yet, so uh, I should explain, guys, so it's absolutely free and you can just go out and test yourself all of this amazing stuff. So we've showed on the previous stream, so you can chat with her about anything, yeah? So, um, and you should divide, you know, all the stuff you are just going on in, in this crypto. So you can just know some, to some getting some knowledge. So it's, it's very powerful tool for newbies actually, because uh, we have on the stream on our channel, a lot of newbies and low bankers. And I believe that uh, some instruments like Lucy is an amazing way to find out uh, your way in crypto yeah so not asking for example how to add the token in metamask or something you can just uh, yeah. ask her to do this yeah so please find the yeah. smart contract number of uh, usdc and add it to my metamask wallet bam yeah. <laughs> it's done yeah so yeah exactly exactly yeah, so you shouldn't go throughout all this stuff. So five or six clicks and uh, copy pasting and you can, you know, make a fault and or going up for the phishing side or something. So I, I believe that it's amazing. And um, what uh, what uh, kind of other, you know, AI personalities do you have? Because I saw some different stuff in the development stage. Can you just pick up some insights about these guys and, and, and girls, I don't know, if they have a yeah. gender. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you're you talking about David and Catherine, right? Yeah. And maybe Meta, Jerry. Yeah, so, okay, I think it's a very cool thing, right? It's like the showcase, the initial showcase of what our AI technology can do. So we always say that, okay, we are trying to create a world where 1 billion human beings live among 100 billion virtual beings. And these virtual beings, they are autonomous living beings. They can make their own decisions. They have their own narrative. They have their own personality. They live inside this virtual being, uh, sorry, virtual world. So this virtual world initially is going to be Delicium Center City, but all of the, you know, different applications and different DMOs that build on top of our um, system. So DMO is actually, sorry, I should explain, Delicium Multiverse Operator. So an operator is somebody that can host a server or a, yeah, a server or a uh, instance of one of the applications. And then I'm talking about the decentralized you know, publishing site. So either Delicium Center City or one of the other games that are called coming and they can organize and they can introduce uh, on-chain incentives, etc. So inside these different worlds, there will be these virtual beings, which are basically NPCs, but they're super smart. They're AI NPCs. So to give a showcase to our community and to our all of our partners and people that were very excited about this, we created David and David was just a showcase of how interactive this world can become. So we introduced David, um, he's a personality, he's one of the main characters in Delicium Center City, and we connected him with our Discord channel. And 
uh, there was a narrative, right? So the narrative was that David was trapped inside this lab, lab laboratory, sorry, laboratory. And uh, the users could interact with David and ask him questions and try to help him escape through having the conversation. So this was really cool. Like, I don't remember exactly the numbers, but like our Discord just blew up and uh, Discord approached us and they offered us a, a partnership. So we were one of the first, uh, I don't know, Web3 or, or Game5 projects that get an official partnership with Discord as well, because we're just like, there's so much inflow of, of uh, community members and they're all trying to help David escape. So this was really cool. And then we introduced Catherine, which is another um another AI virtual being inside the Delicium world and we actually also have a meta jerry meta jerry jerry is actually one of our our staff members and we just cloned him we used our our ai twins so ai twins okay. is a copy creation platform and then like people can actually ask jerry you know things about the git book and and all these types of stuff so yeah this gives you like a, a nice overview of what is possible and then you can imagine like that virtual being having an a, a 3d appearance and the ability to make decisions inside this world and contribute to the economy this is just going to be super amazing so uh, are you not afraid so deep's asking are you not afraid about they could escape and uh, you will lose control about them <laughs> <laughs> like in cyberpunk about the wall yeah, right so. right 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 yeah I, I, we get this question a lot and actually yesterday i i heard a a a uh i was listening to a podcast with uh with um Lex Friedman and Lex Friedman was also talking about this kind of notion that people always think that oh what happens if the AI escapes but you know realistically speaking it's pretty hard for an AI to escape because we're talking about we're talking about you know where are they going to get the comp computational power from, from right are they running on a server they cannot just randomly you know like take over you know like uh, the google data center and like start using all the GPUs and CPUs of, of Google it, it just doesn't work that way it just doesn't work that way. And um, there are rules, right? There are very clear rules. So so an AI virtual being might seem to be, might look like it's autonomous and might look like uh, it's living truly inside this world. And it is, but it's, conf it's confined. There are confinements, there are boundaries. So we're saying like, this is your character, right? It has a backlog. This is David. David's personality is like this. And... David's mission, his goal is to achieve ABCD. And David is always friendly to the to the users. And these are David, his friends. And this is where David lives, right? So David will operate in that box. Like there's no way that like David can all of a sudden become you know, auto autonomous because it's not like a, a running off like one giant supercomputer. Actually, they, to run David, is, it's, it's relatively simple. Um, I, I bet that a lot of, you know, engineers right now could create a version of, of, of David, uh, and run it, you know, on their social medias or whatever, because it's, it doesn't require that much computing power. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I, right. yeah. So I, uh, I think it's, it's, it, it's not, it's not a threat. It's not a threat. Yeah. Uh, so, unless, uh, you know, like, uh, sorry, I just want to add one yeah. thing, unless we're talking about we're we're, we're, we're starting to put, you know, like, uh, machine guns on our self-driving cars and on our robot dogs, then it's a different, you know, then it's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, actually we've got a lot of questions live, so I can, I, I will just interrupt you for a while. So guys, uh, sure. we are just gathering all the questions, so do not afraid. We are not, so for example, asking them. So of course, uh, we are just gathering them. And if you have some questions, uh, just some general questions and other stuff. So I believe you are in the conversation. We will cover it. And I will ask in the end the questions which were not covered as well. So guys, do not uh, do not be afraid to ask any questions in our chat, uh, in YouTube channel and everywhere. So uh, we will try to gather them and um, ask uh, Yannick as well today. So uh, going next, so I believe that about the AI, we've just uh, discovered everything uh, possible, yeah, by the moment. So um, I'm actually pretty inside, uh, excited, sorry, about the uh, publishing stuff and about the gaming stuff, yeah, because uh, we, we just pay a lot of attention about the GameFi and uh, gaming. And uh, uh, can you please tell us about more about the game itself and uh, the dates, the roadmap of the gaming, and of course the utilities of the assets 
and which assets do you have in the game and in the ecosystem and um yeah, that, that's it. So because I see that people are just asking, can I just gather with other players? Uh, what can we play with? Yeah, and and other stuff. And where uh, can we we do it? Yeah, sure. So I will start with the top level. The top level is the decentralized publishing. So decentralized game publishing. If we're talking about games, but on side this on top of this protocol, we can actually build more than just games. But let's focus on the games first. So as I mentioned. The structure is that there are decentralized um, Delicium Multiverse opera operators, which operate on this decentralized protocol. And then we have DMAs, decentralized, sorry, Delicium Multiverse um, accelerators. DMAs are, are pretty much nodes, self-maintaining self mining nodes that support these ecosystems of DMO and games. And now also AI applications. So. Um, these DMOs, we have a couple of DMOs. We actually had more than 5,000 applications and we are now sifting through all of them and we are onboarding the most, uh, you know, the ones that can bring the most to the ecosystem. We are onboarding them one by one and that's happening right now. So we released the first uh, six DMOs. And one of the games that we're developing right now is Delysium Center City. And Delysium Center City is a AAA blockchain game. It's right now on the Epic Game Store. Uh, it was actually one of the first, if not the first, uh, Web3 game, or let's say GameFi uh, project on the Epic Game Source. Right now, there are, there are some more, but we were the first one to open the gates, to open the door for Epic Games to say like, hey, maybe this is getting serious, right? But I must remind you that this is a AAA game, and a AAA game takes a very long time to produce. If you think about Red Dead Redemption, I think Red Dead Redemption took six years or seven years might have even been eight but it just takes a very long time and then you can imagine that this development needs to be combined with safety and decentralized assets like nfts skins and in-game items like like rifles and, and and ai npcs and all these types of stuff so it's 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 not going to be uh you know like we're just gonna build this game and boom it's there no that's not how it works and i think that Every single GameFi project that tries to promote it that way is probably not going to launch, right? Because like, you know, like if a regular AAA game already takes six years to develop, imagine how intensive it is to develop a AAA blockchain game, right? There's like in blockchain, there's no going back, right? Everything needs to be right the first time. So all the contracts need to be, you know, finalized and they, they need to function and uh, the space is still developing very fast so there's new technologies etc cetera, etc cetera. so we are very humble right we're not saying like this game is going to launch like within like so so fast no it's it's unrealistic so we just closed uh the pre-alpha um and right now we're well on the way of development and we are intending to release some more updates as we go so yeah, I think it's good for us to focus on 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 the structure and on uh, you know why we're building something that is going to be sustainable and not just going to be like a a random a random one off thing. So maybe we can go a little bit deeper. Do you have any specific questions? Uh, so we have uh, we have uh, some questions about the implementation of the blockchain, yeah, in AAA games. So. How yeah. uh, do you see uh, the uh, main integration? So uh, will it be you know uh, free to play, or you know you will need to buy NFTs to play, or just uh, you you have the NFTs as addition? Yeah. So maybe it will turns on the how to pay to win system, but uh, instead of pay, you will have NFTs. Yeah. So many projects mm. uh, have this, this scene, I say. <laughs> so because many projects are going uh, live with such a mechanics, they say that we are just free to play or everyone can earn here or something, but you will need to invest, invest, invest in. And, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it's beyond of fun and it's beyond of earning yeah so sometimes mm. so how you will just um, solve this you know situation or this problem in the game because actually i've saw the pre alpha yeah so i asked about uh, the Lism managers to provide us the pre alpha and i i was playing guys i was playing throughout the epic game store i was downloading it so it's working 
totally. And you can see on YouTube some gaming sessions in Vietnamese communities, I believe. And uh, mm -hmm. it looks right now it looks uh, looks pretty nice, yeah. So it looks pretty mm -hmm. nice for a game. But of course, there are a lot of questions about the blockchain implementation and, and about all, all of this, you know, financial stuff, token stuff, NFTs, and other stuff. So um, people, I just wanted to know. <laughs> What to buy sure. first, tokens, DMAs, or just <laughs> NFTs? Yeah, so it's a complicated question, right? Because I think our model is pretty unique. So I suggest that after this call, um, anybody who is really interested should actually have a look at our Git book and see what the, the underlying structure is uh, for the DMAs and for the DMOs. But I will try to explain it uh, the best I can. So the DMOs they will host um, servers or they will host versions of the Delisium Center City. So we say, okay, Ready Player DAO. Ready Player DAO, they already have a community, right? So they have a pretty strong community and they um, want to bring their community to Delisium Center City. So what they can do as a DMO, they can actually introduce their own on-chain incentives. So. I always like to compare it to World of Warcraft. So if you know World of Warcraft and if you have played World of Warcraft, you know that at one point there were just a lot of different like private servers and, and swing offs. And actually those private servers, which were pretty popular, like the like the the hardcore one where you only have one life and then you you, you if you die, then you know you start from level zero. Basically, these kind of things, they have been going on for a long time, but they were illegal. Right? Like they basically people were forking the game and then creating their own assets and game experience and people were really happy about it because everybody's different right so probably a ready player DAO, they have their own very unique community with their own unique needs and we want to facilitate that so we say okay all of these dmos they can create an instance and they can host an instance and they can base these instances on their own rules so for example if you want to have a server where it's one shot one kill and everybody is wearing only underwear okay sure but what is the underlying incentives maybe it's kind of like a, a battle royale winner takes all right so okay then what kind of token do you want to use well it's the dmo right as long as the dmo makes sure that the fees are paid in agi um then it's okay you know like if they want to use usdt layer one layer two or any type of token their own token to purchase their nft assets unique nft assets or or you know um create some other underlying game mechanics then that's possible right so we're really saying that the dmo is going to be a very integral part of the delisium gaming experience okay right so right so let's go a little bit more about the tokens and about the uh, you know asset ecosystem because we have dma yeah we have agi token we have nft so can you a little bit explain more about the dmas yeah so and we have some yep. you know uh some of questions about the token so i will ask them a little bit later so because uh people who are just the half of the people who are on the stream do not know about anything about this one yeah so about the dmas about everything so we need to introduce all the system uh just before the going up the questions yeah so let's go <laughs> let's go and do it so dma delicium multiverse accelerator is basically a exclusive membership to vote and support the delicium universe to become something beyond what everybody hopes it would be. So if you purchase a DMA, you're saying, hey, I believe in this project. I want to earn with this project, but also at the same time, I want to help this project build. So if you purchase a DMA, you'll become part of our exclusive members group and you will share a daily pool of AGI. And this daily pool of AGI will be um, distributed over all of the DMA holders. So right now the DMAs are, we've sold like 14,195. Uh, DMAs and the price of one DMA right now is 2050 for every um, um, you know level of sales so the total supply is 50k for every 100 uh, up we add another 25 USD, USDT so it started at uh, at 1000 and now it's 2000 uh, yeah uh, 2050 USDT yeah let me let me interrupt you for a while so guys if you will look, for example, for our streams around a month ago, uh, it was around 1,000. 
and you can see that so i was <laughs> i was telling you guys so it's a chance so right now the price is twicely but it can go up to 10000 guys so you have still a chance you can go uh, uh throughout the link uh, in uh, downside the videos or uh you can see it on twitter or everywhere so just use it and if you have some you know uh investment um how would say uh, intentions so uh, do your own research but actually this is a, a great possibility uh to go in right now because uh, uh there is the, so when it costs right uh, 1000 it was you know we haven't got a proof of uh concept yeah so we haven't anything yeah so we haven't uh listing we haven't tga by that moment but right now everything is fine so and it's a chance to to get up on the train if you're on if you're if you are not yeah there so <laughs> let's continue yeah a little bit of advertisement <laughs> here <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Stuff. so yeah so so if you purchase a dma you will share a daily amount of uh of agi right and this agi compounds because it's every day for the rest of your life for the rest of the 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 the, the length of humanity right because this is blockchain it will not go away um what it what does happen though every two years we have a halving um which is completely reasonable because the token price will will, will go up um so also, as the token price goes up uh, during the next bull run, then you will earn significantly significantly more. So right now is a good time to accumulate uh, AGI. So we're not shy about it, right? Like right now, is it's, it's not a very good market condition. So we are just making sure that we keep building, that we maintain everything that we have, that we uh, are that we make sure that we are ready for for the next run. And that we are ready for for what's going to come so we are putting all of our all of our bets on 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 that period so right now a lot of our community members you know some of them they hold uh, a significant amount of dmas and what they're doing is they're just mining agi every day and then they're staking it and then they're getting more and then they're uh, referring actually people as well so you can also get some referral awards you can get uh, cash bags you can earn together with the rest of the community you can onboard more of your friends and users you can earn together um, and we just launched a loyalty program so this loyalty program is actually really cool because uh the more you interact with the the ecosystem and the community and the more friends you refer the more dmas you purchase the more you interact on like social medias and discord etc the more loyalty score you will get and this loyalty score will allow you to earn even more agi and actually right now we're working on some campaigns and we're working on some interesting mechanics to have another bonus pool. So this bonus pool will, will be extra and uh, our users and our exclusive DMA holders, they can join this kind of like activities and get a DMA um, a loyalty boost. So um, we're going to make sure that um, even if, you know, the market is getting more worse, our users are still being rewarded what they should be and we are just like going 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 together hand in hand this is just very important for us because the dma is really saying like hey i really believe in 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 this narrative i really believe in this content i really believe in the concepts and i really believe in the artificial intelligence that you guys are building and in my opinion it's pretty undeniable that you know, like for example, Lucy will just be integrated on mass scale. We're actually talking to 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 major projects and exchanges uh, to see how they can incorporate Lucy as a onboarding solution for new users. And and we're talking to different game five projects how they can use our technology. And we have some major, major, major partnerships coming up with some of the biggest tech corporations in the world. Um, uh, yeah, I can actually say that Microsoft has been confirmed, um, which is great. Uh, we will do more announcements on this in the in the near future once we uh, once we align on all of the details. Like we don't want to we don't want to shout too soon, but yeah, it's confirmed. And this is just signals, right? This is just signals, like really really good signals for us, just to see that like everybody is in on our on our vision and on our mission and we are receiving so much support and if you look at our investor lineup it's just insane so yeah if you want to get in if you want to support the project if you want to earn with the project then the dma is definitely a really good investment because it's just you know it's just passive income basically 
Yeah, so a uh, wonderful opportunity. So, uh, but actually, how do you consider buying the DMA? Yeah, uh, is either for the uh, big banks, yeah, so big investors, or just for an ordinary, you know, investors in crypto? So, how do you, you know, manage this one? So, uh, maybe. Mm. Uh, so a lot of people just we were just talking about the DMA and uh, everything. So uh, they were just asking. So uh, what if if what if I I'm, I'm just low bankers? Should I buy AGI instead of DMA or also I should concentrate more in DMA and and you know just generating AGI mm -hmm. and what are reasons mm -hmm. to hold AGI if I can buy DMA for example? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. how can I be sure? To invest in AGI directly, for example, just I don't know, 100 a month, for example. Yeah, people want to to invest mm. in. Yeah. Yep. So uh, because because yeah. they can afford this. So uh, what is the plan? So you you've mentioned the halving. Yeah, it's understandable. But actually, the maze uh, generate AGI tokens forever. Yeah. So how uh, you will utilize the AGIs to support the price? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Really good question. Really good question. Um, so let me paint the picture, right? So let's say that you want to invest on the long term, right? And you you want to get closer to the community. You want to contribute to the community, and you want to make sure that you are leveled. You're on the same level with the big guys, right? So what that means is that. I understand that some people might be concerned that there's going to come a, be a big will and this big will is going to purchase like a lot of the DMA supply and then he's going to to form uh, a large amount of, uh, of of AGI, right? And this is a realistic thing, of course. But at the same time, we we actually have we actually have uh, the system in place, like the loyalty, right? So if you are if you are a small investor and you just have the purchasing power for one DMA or for two DMAs or for three DMAs. This is completely fine because you can still contribute and you can still do referrals, etc. And then you can actually boost your loyalty score so you can earn more AGI, right? And then the second thing is like, if you purchase a DMA, like you're going to get this daily reward every day, every single day. So at one point, you know, you're breaking even. And then from the point that you break even onward, every day you are moving you are moving um you are moving your your earning basically right you're earning every day which is which is just great right because then you don't have to watch the watch the the token uh fluctuation you don't have to make sure that you're situ situated well you don't have to put your stop losses and your buy orders because you're just earning every day so this is this is the the cool thing about the dma but if you are you know more short term then you might just want to go uh purchase dm uh sorry agi hold it for a while stake it that's also fine but i think that it depends on your on your on your approach and i would always prefer to have some longevity in in, in my in my investment so i would always go for a delicious multiverse excel uh accelerator you know just to go and purchase a dma and then additionally you know, you 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 have like more voting weights. You have a, a um, you have a status also in our community if you're a DMA holder. And it doesn't matter whether you are one, you have one DMA or 100 DMAs. Uh, we treat our DMA members uh, the same. Okay, sounds sounds really great. And uh, we have a question from Fuyong Trend. So he just asked it three times, but. I haven't got it. So, how does Project Delism determine quota endpoint e point poster during pre sale and fair lunch periods? Uh, a little bit <laughs> frustrating for me. Uh, maybe you know uh, what he's talking about. Can you repeat the question? Uh, sure how, does, how does Delism determine quota uh, endpoint e point poster during pre sale and fair lunch periods? So, um, I suppose it's uh, it it was going f throughout the TGA. Maybe I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm I'm actually not sure what the question is. Okay. It's, it's 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 worded a little bit strangely. I will I will try to if you if you come to our community in Discord and you DM me in Discord, I will try to answer it after after this AMA. 
Yeah, so it was a little bit uh, frustrating for me as well, so I decided to ask it <laughs> and frustrate you a little bit. So, um, yeah, a lot of, we have a lot of questions from Lin Ann, from uh, the Princess from June, and uh, uh, from Baya Jr. So, uh, what uh, are the key partnerships to have right now, yeah? So, you just mentioned the Microsoft, of course, we cannot say it publicly yeah so because uh you've said that the announcement is is ready to go but but it's not official uh but what other intents uh are you using for the partnership stuff and how it's going actually mm -hmm. within the roadmap and uh within the engaging the communities etc uh, etc et mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah sure uh in microsoft is official but it's just that we that we haven't announced it yet because there's a lot of pr things that we that we want to do but i just wanted to share it here so if you keep your eyes peeled on our telegram and on our discord and on our twitter you will see this announcement very soon and then besides that we actually just announced that polygon also invested and if you just look at like our lineup of investors and contributors, it's just impressive. We have Galaxy Interactive, we are Y Combinator backed, we have Anthos Capital. Uh, we have such a big list of, of partnerships and, and, and investors and collaborators and contributors, uh, whether it's paid or unpaid. Um, it's just a massive list. Uh, you can actually go to, to, to our website and you, and you can have a look at, at the about page. It's pretty impressive. Um, I wanted to come back real quick just for the utility part of AGI if you if you don't mind yeah 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 so we have a lot of questions about the utilities so okay yeah so sure I want to I want to I want to just open this up okay so yeah so um the listening multiface accelerator is like this membership uh -huh. and core contribution and the AI powered AI powered open world framework is what I what I explained earlier so you can see here uh, it includes the Elysium AI and decentralized game publishing. So, for example, one of the mechanics when uh, Lucy version 1 is going to be released, uh, it's going to be a gated experience. So only DMA holders, they will have free access. But all the other users that want to use uh, Lucy, especially in these initial periods, let's say beta, they will have to use their AGI or they will have to use USDT, but mainly AGI, um, to get access, right? So... Probably we're going to see a lot of users that will want to get access to 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 Lucy because it's just such a, a great um, experience and it just makes their life more easy. So they have to uh, open, you know, they have to 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 use AGI. Then besides that, within Lucy there are also different uh, types of mechanics that will require AGI. Then AI twins. Once we release AI twins, which is going to be very soon, also within uh, next month, um, you know there's also going to be another use case of AGI. So AGI is basically what's going to be powering these applications on the open world framework. And then AGI is also going to be all the ecosystem staking rewards and operation fees and revenues. You know, these operation fees and revenues, they will contribute to the staking rewards. The staking rewards, they will go back to these users, uh, users who stake and to the uh, staking pool, which also contributes to the DMA payout eventually. So it's just, it's just like this encapsulating thing. So, you know, a AGI is consumed here, goes back into the rewards, gets pumped back into um, user rewards, but also into the staking point, also into the development of the entire ecosystem. So why do you want to have AGI? Well, AGI is going to be the driver for this entire ecosystem. And honestly, AI Twins and Lucy, they are just the first showcases and the first fundamental steps for us to build like truly generative artificial intelligence for web3 so yeah you know like for lucy what you'll be able to do and at the end of the ama i'm going to share some screenshots of the new product it's just like you know like there's just gonna be we already had 1.4 million users to connect and to join so imagine you know the consumption of agi will be pretty pretty high yeah, and um, you know we have some questions from the fractal logic, uh, uh, fractal uh, origin, and um, other guys. So, um, is it uh, in future will it be available to use uh, the AI twins and, for example, duplicate me, for example, in ten times? Or I don't know. So, what what is the proportion? So, imagine so we will have, for example, one billion people just live humans. 
and 100 billion people virtual beings yeah ai beings so mm. um mm. how how these proportions will go uh throughout the ecosystem and uh, you know how, mm. what what will happen if if the situation uh w- w- will just uh, execute in, in in such a way yeah so i mean like for if we're talking about ai twins ai twins initially will be uh outside of the game right so you can start to create your 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 ai twin and you can use this ai twin in different instances you can first of all to create your ai twin you connect your discord or your twitter or whatever you want to use and um your personality and your public posts are compiled into your sorry personality and then you can tweak that right so then probably you'll be able eventually to mint your um you mint your AI twin and then you can use that NFT as a playable character or a non-playable character within our ecosystem. So yeah, probably, you know, like there's going to be uh, functions where you can actually have a team of AI virtual beings that can do a job for you. But like I said, like like from a social experiment perspective, right, which which really it will be a big social experiment is like, Okay, well, where where do the boundaries need to be, and and also, what are the DMOs um, comfortable with? So I think that you know initially, definitely, you are not going to be able to deploy. Let's say you know, like you invest like uh, half a billion dollars into all your AI virtual beings, and then you deploy like one hundred billion uh, AI virtual beings, and then you are the god of this server. That's not going to happen for sure. Um, there are rules for the DMOs. You know, like if a DMO create say instance of Delicium um Sender City and he says well everybody can only have uh one AI virtual being that's working for him or her at a time and other DMOs they might say well we want to have 100 so it depends you know which server do you want to play well I want to play that server or I want to play the other server up to you okay uh, I want to <laughs> I want to play on this server where all the my job will be done with AI I will be just resting. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me nice. too, me too, me too. So maybe in some me time too. our our twins will just speak about the an MA virtual MA session and we will be just drinking a beer in the bar uh outside exactly. the corner yeah. So okay, um okay, right. So um if we're just going up to speak about the AI and stuff, so you said that you will show us something interesting here about the AI. So uh, let's go and do this because actually we've uh, we've been broadcasting near an hour, and uh, soon I will go just throughout the community questions, and uh, we will be over. So it's very good time wow. to show time us flies. something. Yeah. So th- time is- flies. Time flies. Okay. So all right, let me zoom in here a little bit. So. This is a snapshot of uh, Lucy version one. So Lucy version one is very comparable to auto GPT. And I'm not sure if you guys know auto GPT or something like God mode, uh, which are basically autonomous agents, which can prompt themselves and they can, they can use different right now. They cannot really use plugins, uh, but they can use code and they can use self prompting to come to a conclusion and come to a goal. So, you know, you might say to auto GPT, um, I want to create a, uh, thesis paper for my graduation, right? I don't want to do it myself. So then auto GPT says, so the goal is to write a thesis paper about web tree. And then it's going to prompt itself. It's going to say, what do I need to do to be able to write a thesis paper uh, about Web3? Uh, well, you need to do research about these topics. You need to make it, uh, a table of contents. You need to write down your hypothesis. Then you need to make A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then it outlines all the steps. And then one by one, it's going to execute all of these steps until all of the data is compiled into one file. That file is stored and then you can still probably prompt that file or whatever, right? So the only thing that you're basically doing is you're saying, hey, I have this objective, I have this goal, which is this, and you are going to execute it for me. It's basically saying, I have a team of people and this is the goal, now you guys are going to do it for me, right? That's that's an agent. That's what we call uh, a, a, a AI agent, right? So Lucy essentially is like a very smart AI agent which operates on Web3. So 
you know, AI agent sounds a bit scary, so I would prefer to say a smart wallet um, that is at the same time some kind of like an operating system. Because probably in the future, we will not have browsers, web browsers anymore. We'll just be prompting, you know, like this kind of interface. So with that in mind, we, we, we created Lucy version one. So here's a good example, right? You can say, help me create five Bitcoin wallets and transfer 0.001 Bitcoin to each. And then Lucy is going to create the wallets using the creation plugin, calling the transfers done. And then you will eventually have your, um, have your end result. So how do I actually get to the next one here? Right, so then she created all of these wallets. She gives you the private keys. She gives you the mnem um, mnemonics. These will be, obviously this is this demo purposes. So these will not be just visible like this. There will be uh, some, uh, some security measures, but I just wanted to showcase it for you guys. And then, you know, like you can say, well, with all of these wallets right now, let's take the next step. Let's go and apply for airdrops on this and this protocol, or let's do this and this, right? Or let's say uh, I want to create a, uh, a order. Uh, I want a DCA into Bitcoin. I want to use this specific wallet. I give the wallet a name, and this is my wallet for buying Bitcoin. And another wallet I'm just going to use for airdrop hunting. And then another wallet I'm going to use for uh, keeping my funds uh, hidden or safe, whatever. So, you know, there's going to be different types of applications, as you can see here on the right side, that are going to be able to help you execute and help you operate on the blockchain, which is really cool. So then we will integrate with other different types of plugins like Bing and, for example, DeFi Llama. So you can say, hey, um, what are the current liquidation levels of Ethereum uh, on various lending platforms? And then actually you will call the liquidations um, database from DeFi Llama and then Lucy will create a nice graph for you. And then you can say, well, I want to put my stop orders based on, I want to put my purchase orders and stop losses and take profits based off these types of data. So, you know, like the next message is going to be, okay, so um, I want to, I want to put my buy order at 1.98, uh, something like that, because from the chart, I see this and this pattern. So I want to, I want to operate uh, based off that, or you can say, hey, I have no idea what this chart is showing me. Can you please explain what's going on, right? And then you can ask Lucy, so based off this information, what do I know and how can I um, base a trading strategy of this information? And then she can explain it to you and then you can pull more data and then you can eventually have a better understanding of what happens when price reaches a certain point. <clears throat> and then you can make an informed trading decision. Now, again, we must say that Lucy is not um built uh specifically for giving you trading advice and you need to use your own brain and you can never just like follow her her uh her information blindly but still you know there will be a lot of things that i don't even know about crypto right like i will you know i see a chart like this and doesn't mean that i understand everything but you know normally i would start to have to ask somebody i know like hey this chart you know like these numbers blah 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 or might i've actually might have to purchase a course or might have to watch uh, a couple of YouTube videos. But here I can just ask the question, you know, like I don't have to spend so much energy and so much time in trying to figure out what's going on. I can just ask, hey, what am I, what am I looking at? How can I make sure that I understand what I'm looking at and how can I make sure that I'm using that information to make better trading decisions or investment decisions? Or how can I make sure that I am not randomly sending by accident any uh, of my USDT to a wrong wallet address, etc. You know, it's just like, yeah, I, I guess your imagination can fill yeah, in yeah. the so, rest of the, um, the functionality. Actually, actually, I see that it will be perfect to just determine your strategy. Yeah. So you're telling the assistant your strategy, for example, on futures. So, uh, for example, uh, uh, and you can just make stop losses immediately. Yeah. So, and it can provide you a little bit advantage uh, because, for, for example, me usually like a low bunker, 
I'm just making the trade yeah, on futures, for example, with big leverage, for example, with big leverage, because I'm low banker, I need to boost my bank, yeah, so my, my profile. Mm. So, for example, I choose the 100 leverage, but I don't want to risk about 5% uh, of my, for example, funds, yeah, so I need to, to make stop losses very quickly, yeah, but I cannot, mm. uh, for example, but I'm, for example, selling or buying on the market price usually, yeah, because I'm, I'm just mm. the, I, I cannot, you know, uh, uh, put up the limit orders, then wait for them, yeah, and so on and so on. And if I just describe the trading, my trading strategy to the Lucy, for example, uh, she can do it uh, for me, yeah. So making it very quickly, uh, putting up the stop losses or taking the profits, and maybe just find the best way, best option for the entering the market, yeah, in in short time frame, for example, five seconds or one minute, something like this, yeah. And um, yeah. it's um, it's amazing stuff for the for the newbies who wants to be, you know, an advanced traders uh, without any understanding about the trading bots, algorithms, and other stuff. Because uh, as we are, <laughs> because we're just yeah. doing some, you know, some simple stuff here, and I believe this autom uh, automation is 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 very very helpful yeah so um yeah. okay guys um i'm i'm just running out for the uh, community questions actually we've just covered i believe that uh a lot of a lot of stuff here and um let me uh let me see uh if if something were not covered um so um yeah, there were some, you know, um, questions about uh, will you be uh, implementing different, you know, uh, chains? So you just cover it a little bit. Uh, but uh, uh, one more particular question about the uh, zero knowledge proofs and, you know, uh, this new, you know, layers about the optimism, about ZK stuff. So uh, do you have some any intents and uh, applications for the delision projects right now or it should be some you know additional bridges or something i don't know mm. yeah i think the interoperability for us is very important right like we want to make sure that most of our foundational applications and our entire protocol is um able to communicate with different layer ones layer twos and protocols right because eventually like for example for lucy it's just going to be very important that it's going to be streamlined across the board so any type of user any type of kind of community or environment that might be inclined to use they 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 would be able to use our application so i think that's a very fair question but it's also a very technical question right you know like um we need to choose the right ecosystems to to work with initially and we need to make sure that the ethos and that the core values of those ecosystems are aligned with our ethos and that we are not creating conflict and that we are making sure that we can service all of the users so like we're pretty humble you know like you you don't see us often to say too much and then like not being able to deliver so i'm just gonna say like we're just step by step, right? So for sure, you know, like ZK um, and these different types of new protocols and new layer twos um, are very interesting and they will be uh, foundational building blocks to the Delicium ecosystem. But yeah, step by step, everything step by step. Yeah, right, right. So uh, I've just missed some some couple of questions, guys. So the first one, so uh, 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 this just combined. Where can I buy the DMA and where can I buy the AGI? <laughs> so we, we yeah. haven't covered it yeah, yet. Yeah, cool. <laughs> so you can go to delicium.com and then you can actually go here to our DMA and then you can click on buy now. And then you can sign in with your wallet or with your email or with your Discord, and then you will be uh, be catapulted into a uh, dashboard. And within that dashboard, you can actually purchase your 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 DMAs. So um, let's see. Yep. I'm not logged in right now, but I can actually show you. I can actually show you the. I can actually show you the DMA purchasing guide real quick so yeah you you just go to the sign in option on the top left of the website you sign in with your wallet metamask um and then you will be 
going into the dashboard and you can actually purchase your DMA. And then like once you've purchased, purchased it, you can, um, you can access all the panels of the dashboard as well, including the loyalty program. So here you see the DMA dashboard and the loyalty program, and then uh, there's like FAQs and a lot of information so you know what you can do. And then you also have your referral. So after you have purchased the DMA, you have a referral. Um, and if you refer people to the ecosystem and they purchase DMA, you will also be rewarded. Your loyalty will increase. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And AGI is available, of course, uh, on exchanges. And um, you can go to go to different exchanges uh, that we operate on for sure. Okay, so uh, so guys, I believe that uh, it's all of the questions uh, we've just covered because uh, actually we have a tons of questions here, but uh, usually they are just. I believe that we are just covered everything. Uh, some of guys uh, just wanted to marry Lucy, and some of girls asked <laughs> why Lucy is a girl or not. So actually, I've asked about uh, Lucy about her appearance in the chat, so you can chat with her, and she will tell you why she is uh, a girl. So why she looks like a girl. So uh, you can ask her directly, guys. <laughs> so Yannick here yeah. is, uh, 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 will not will not answer you. So go directly for Lucy and ask her. So um, I want to say many big thanks for the audience who just uh, were just today with us. And of course, very, very big thanks for Yannick Mason. So a lot of insights here today. Uh, so guys, do not hesitate to ask questions in Twitter, uh, in in Discord. So join the community. And of course, guys, we are just going up the Gleam campaign right now, of so you can get some share of the prize pool on today's AMA session. So it will be live around 12 hours more. So you have a chance to watch this MA session if you just join it right now and miss anything. So you can uh, ask the questions, you can uh, watch this MAA and uh, do everything you want. Yeah, so buy the MAA guys, <laughs> <laughs> buy AGI and uh, let's uh, let's see what's happening next. So uh, I'm very bullish here and I want to uh, wish you guys a uh, very good luck and of course of course we're waiting till all these products will go live thank you guys very much for joining us today thank you geekfi uh, it was an honor to be able to talk to you had a lot of fun and hope i can come back sometimes in the future everybody that's watching today just go to delisim.com purchase your dmas accumulate your agi stake it and then join the community you guys can dm me on twitter it's at yannick myson m i m y s o n and my name you can see so yeah just feel free to ask me any questions and join the delisim community and i hope to uh, interact with you guys very soon okay thank you thank you guys bye bye love you all bye bye guys yeah.